All right, welcome back to our final segment on pewterpirates.com, everybody, where we're going to have a little bit of fun. You know, with technology, things are moving fast in this world, but it's comforting. Some things stay the same, like, you remember this? Electronic football? Kind of a slow-paced game, but it's still around. We'd like to thank our friends at Tudor Games for giving us the 70th edition. Yeah, this game's been around for 70 years, dating back to 1948, which means the current bucks were negative 40-something back then. Negative 50-something back then. They haven't heard of electric football, so we took it to two players who played it for the first time. All right, let's kick off the regular season early, shall we? As we have a simulation of the Bucks season opener against those NFC South rival Saints. But who would be brave enough to make their electric football debut? How about Bucks tight end Alan Cross and defensive back Josh Robinson? Listen, guys, uh, first question. It's the 70th anniversary of electric football. Have you ever heard of this game? No, sir. And how old are you? I'm 27. Okay. How old are you? 25. Well, that makes sense because this game is now 70 years old. I can't believe it's 70 years old. Now, Josh Robinson enters with more video game experience, but don't count out Cross, who recalls the highlight of his gaming resume. I got the PlayStation 1 and Marshall Fox is on the corner. Right, right. That's going back, but not as far back as this game. You know, uh, this was a little bit different back in the day, wasn't it? Oh yeah, way different. <laughs> okay, time to kick things off in a game where it often takes a while to score, but we had one on the very first play. Yeah, I'm going backwards. You hit yet? I'm out of bounds, huh? Uh, you lost yardage, huh? Safety, baby. <laughs> safety, baby. I like it. The safety by the DB made it two zip. I'm glad we got a guy on offense on defense. That just kind of makes us better, doesn't oh, it? Absolutely. This game, like the real game, is all about alignments and adjustments. Are you making any adjustments? <laughs> yeah, you could tell these electric bucks were getting more comfortable. Like bend these back? Yeah. And go forward? Yeah. And with more comfort came more competitiveness. That's it. <laughs> my braces. How do I turn the vibration level? It doesn't down? matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Are you enjoying this more than you thought you would? Absolutely. Okay, good. <laughs> That's cool. All right, with team meetings to attend, we had to cut this game short for these buckos, where it all came down to this play. See it? Oh, going backwards. Go forward. Going backwards. He's still going backwards. Come on, make the tackle. Make the tackle, Will. You're right there. Make the tackle. Oh, oh, keep going. He ain't down. He's not down. Keep going. He's down now. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't hey, stop it. I should have said. I thought, I, thought, I, I, said. I thought it was when he got cut. Yeah, low scoring game, but that's what you get in electric football. Two to zip. It kind of moves slow, but it hasn't changed much in 70 years. But Tudor Games has given you a couple new wrinkles like this maneuver right here. Well, we appreciate you logging on to pewterpirates.com. Check out the podcast with myself and Roy Cummings. A few extra bucks, a few extra takes. We have it twice a week during training camp. We'd like to thank our title sponsors, House of Brews and Sea Dog Brewing Company. Until next time, we appreciate you logging on.